Over Black Friday sales, Atari offered some new hardware, and this is the PC mode USB for the Atari VCS. And I was excited, I was able to purchase one, it was on sale. And what this includes is Debian GNU Linux. It's an open source operating system. I hope I'm saying this right. This really isn't my specialty. And one thing I really wanted to cover on my channel, and you essentially put this USB stick into your Atari VCS, and with a mouse and keyboard attached, or if you have a wire, wireless setup, that's fine, you then can go into PC mode with your Atari VCS. It, it already just boots right into it. And you do have to update the software that you get. And so this is a pretty unique project. Now you can get this software available everywhere else. It is free, open source, I do believe. Um, interesting that Atari was selling this. And I don't know if they were uh, offering it just as free software on their little Fuji stamped USB stick, but here it is. This is the software that comes on these. Now, many people may know about this. This is not my wheelhouse and not my specialty, but I'm jumping right in. So all of this is fairly new to me. So bear, bear that in mind when I'm discussing this. And it might be new to you, but anyways, lots of free software out there that many people have worked hard at offering to others since I do believe, I think this project started in 1993. And there's just tons of free great games and emulation. And there's just a multitude of ways to game open source. And it's really cool to see this. And I know that there's a lot of fans out there. I have a buddy that's a big Linux fan. And, you know, this is not uh, something that I delve into too much. But I wanted to show this really does expand the capabilities of the Atari VCS. I was kind of intimidated by getting one of these and not knowing what to do. Well, it was fairly easy to navigate. You do have to update the software and just follow directions once you plug in the USB stick. And, and again, you need a mouse and keyboard with this, with your Atari VCS to, to fully take advantage of all its capabilities. But this is much more than games. Much This makes it a full-fledged operating computer with programs and applications. So this is not a full review. I'm really just talking about the, some of the gaming software and just touching a little bit on it and giving you my first thoughts. Uh, I know there's a lot of experts out there and definitely in the comments below, I want you to share with me what else, what other emulation do I need to check out on this and what other games do you recommend using this software? This was Endless Sky. This looked pretty interesting. It, it was highly reviewed and um, it looked kind of like a space exploration uh, type game. I didn't play it too much at all. Just really wanted to show some basic software that was offered on this or share some of the emulation, including I'm going to be talking about Steam, which is a big deal and adds quite a bit to the Atari VCS package. So um, using a browser, I was able to uh, search for Steam, install Steam. You do have to update it. Not all the games on Steam will work through your Atari VCS with this current setup, with this USB stick, but there are games that do work. And Torchlight 2 is one of them, which is one of my favorite Steam games. I've talked about this before. I'm a huge fan of Torchlight 2. Uh, this to me was kind of the sweet spot for the series and always will be kind of a, 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 a favorite of mine. I had a lot of enjoyment with this game. I still try to play it. I just have so many games to play with now. Um, but this is definitely one, and it works great. This is running on, uh, you know, uh, VCS hardware. Greetings. And if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell. Over half of you watching are not subscribed. Do so now if you like what you see. All right, emulation. I uh, wanted to check out the emulators that were offered uh, straight from the, the applications that were on the stick and Here's Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Advance uh, running great. And this is Super Ghouls and Ghosts. And this is a, another one of my uh, favorite games of Capcom. And you know, this, this Game Boy Advance version is kind of a unique one. It's, it's got a little bit of uh, a little bit of this and that. 
and uh, I really enjoy it, and it's running great here. And I know that a lot of people are playing emulation-wise these days, as it's a great way to check out a game, or maybe you just, uh, like many people, just don't have your original hardware anymore, and you just want to go the emulation route. It, you know, this this might be an option for you. Uh, the 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 emulations are there, but you have to get your own ROMs, and so there's no ROMs included on this it's just the emulator so you do have to get your own roms here's uh N nes being emulated and this is Calitz gamers adventure and Calitz gamers second adventure which actually is going to be offered on an evercade indie cart coming soon to you and so but uh th these are some uh, great games that i was uh connected to and uh really really nice to see them running great on this and so uh, this is MT's work and he's, he's a fantastic programmer and uh, just a just a brilliant game and I know some speedrunners like playing this game and, and I can see why but anyways uh, just wonderful to see these projects come and and nice to see that they're working great on this and you know emulation might be the way to go but again this is running through a VCS so maybe uh, you don't have a Nintendo uh, you don't have a lot of consoles well, this makes it like a PC where you can emulate many different things. Here's N64. Again, um, I'm, I'm not going to have the best control on this one right in particular. I had to um, have time to set up a controller. Anyway, I was trying to use my VCS controller. I'm, I'm sure if I spent more time, I could tweak it. But um, it's not running full screen. I could probably tweak with the settings to make that work. But uh, here's Robotron 64. And uh, I, uh, this is a, a game I, I do appreciate. I'm a big Robotron fan. But just wanted to show it's, it's running. And so even if it's uh, windowed, it's it's still fully functional. All right, Stella. Stella is one of the best Atari 2600 emulators. And I had a, a, a prototype ROM for Spy Hunter. So what I did was just checking it here and it popped right up. And Stella is just an amazing emulator for the Atari 2600. Highly recommend it. And Stella, another emulator that's built in and to this. And that's really neat that they're offering that. So you can play literally any Atari 2600 ROM that you have. Fantastic. Great version of Spy Hunter, by the way. If you haven't played the 2600 version of uh, Spy Hunter, it's very impressive. And I uh, just wanted to share that. Very sweet to see it. And, you know, it's running great. And, uh, you know, there's different tweaks you can do. You can have filters and full screen mode if you want. Um, I just wanted to show it here and, and very impressed with this unique uh, USB uh, PC mode USB stick that they're selling or were selling or I don't know if they're selling it anymore. I mean it literally was on sale for like a week and then it was sold out and and, and Atari's kind of weird like that. I don't know how many of these made if it was just short run but that's it. So what do you think in the comments below let me know and I want to thank you for this short and quick video. Uh, you folks stay wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.